You're seeing, since Joe Biden took office, crime skyrocket all around the country. I'm going to play a very short clip for you of Republican Congresswoman Nancy Mace, I believe setting a record for lies per second about crime in the United States. As I'm sure my viewers by now must know, because we've covered it so many times, crime is down in the United States. The murder rate is down. The violent crime rate is down. Um, hate crimes against Jews and Muslims are up. That's true. But that's mostly perpetrated by the right, even though it's the right who's claiming, oh, these de democratically run cities. So we're going to play for you all that Republicans have left. They've lost on economics. They have nothing to offer on foreign policy. They're persecuting Joe Biden, despite Biden clearly having committed no crimes. They don't have anything. So they yell about the border and they yell about crime being up. Try to find anything that's true that Nancy May says in this video. You're seeing since Joe Biden took office, crime skyrocket all around the country. And especially in big cities, you see illegal immigrants coming in, beating up our cops and being taken out without without bail, let out of jail without bail, giving the middle finger to America and our men in blue, men and women in blue and in uniform. Um, you're seeing crime skyrocket. You're seeing fentanyl cases skyrocket. We're letting China. We're literally allowing China to import deadly drugs like fentanyl into this country, and it's killing our children and killing uh, our citizens. We are allowing Joe Biden to to uh, have the cartel sneak drugs into the country, smuggle people into the country illegally. Like it's just OK to do that under Joe Biden. It's not OK. We're a nation of laws and should follow them. All right. None of that is. Well, OK, we're a nation of laws and we should follow them. I guess that's true, even though so many people like Trump and his cronies get to break the law all the time and so far, no consequences. Everything there is a lie. Now, before we get into the, the substance, there was one point where uh, there was a Twitter or X community note saying, hey, this isn't true. What Nancy Mace is saying, crime is actually down in the United States. Suspiciously, that community note was quietly removed. So even on X, it was correcting her lies. And all of a sudden that community note is gone. Now, let's go through a couple of these different things. Crime is not up. Crime is down. We've reported on it extensively. NPR violent crime is dropping fast in the US, even if Americans don't believe it. Remember, facts don't care about your feelings. The facts are all sorts of crimes are down. They are down in uh, uh, all different parts of the country. Now, anecdotally, can you find some type of crime that in some part of the country is up over some particular period of time? Sure. But the trend for decades in the United States has been violent crime is down. Property crime is down. Murder is down. All of that is down, down, down. Secondly, she makes other assertions, including, for example, that immigrant crime is way up and immigrants are committing all sorts of crimes. The implication always is immigrants commit more crime than natural born citizens. Undocumented immigrants commit more crime than natural born citizens. Neither of those claims is true. And it's obvious why uh, there is some degree to which there is an entitlement and a security that natural born citizens feel that both legal and illegal immigrants do not. If you know you're here in the country illegally, you're incentivized to stay off the radar of law enforcement because you know that if you have any violation, you get a speeding ticket, you steal a candy bar, whatever the case may be. It's possible. It depends on where you are and what the rules are on show us your papers. But it's possible that some tiny infraction jaywalking will lead to the discovery that you're in the country illegally and possibly deportation. So we know that both documented and undocumented immigrants commit crime at lower rates than natural born citizens. If you really want to reduce the crime rate, start deporting natural born citizens. That's the statistical reality. And thirdly, Nancy Mace claims you can you're just allowed to do whatever you want. China now is allowed to bring in fentanyl or fentanyl, as they often call it. Uh, that's not true. China is not allowed to bring anything in. Of course, there is fentanyl being brought in. There's also precursor chemicals that are being flown in. It's not coming across the border. Precursor chemicals are flown in. And then the fentanyl is manufactured here in the United States. Talking about the border doesn't really do anything about that. There's all sorts of other realities when it comes to fentanyl. Uh, and then lastly, of course, the idea that the border is open and everything's allowed under Joe Biden. It's these are all complete and total lies. There's a couple different problems here. Number one, Republicans keep telling these lies and many of their followers fall for them. Number two, many of the platforms and media outlets, Twitter being a great example, they aren't doing a good enough job of flagging that these are lies. 
there was briefly a community note, which is like a Twitter fact check that shows up saying crime is down and it's gone. I don't have an explanation as to why it's gone on these Nancy Mace videos, but it is gone. We can speculate. I ultimately don't know the answer, but crime is down. And again, remember, because crime is down, because the economy is doing pretty well, because Joe Biden has done some great things on infrastructure and uh, uh, lead pipes and water quality and negotiating uh, of insulin and inhaler rates and all these different things. All they have is lies. The border under Biden's wide open. Crime is up under Biden. The economy is terrible, so on and so forth. None of those things are true. You can like the guy or not Biden. You can think he's done enough or not Biden but they have only lies with which to attack him. And that really tells us a lot. It is time to start thinking like voters and to make sure that kids understand the importance of voting, how it works, registering ballot initiatives, because so many kids just have no idea. That's why I wrote the new children's book. Think like a voter. I can think of no better time and no more important group of folks to try to reach. The book is now available at davidpackmancom slash book, where, by the way, you can get the first two books in the series as well. Think like a detective and think like a scientist. Really important stuff. Donate them to local libraries, classrooms, read them with the kids. davidpackmancom slash book.